So, if you have an existing website, you probably have worked with some plugins, right? Unless you're like hard coding everything out um, in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all that, um, you probably use plugins. Because plugins, like, I mean, I I'm sure most people are familiar, but they're an add-on software. Uh, sometimes they're called different things by the specific, by specific platform. Critically, they what they really do is make your life easier, right? They 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 do the, some of the, that hard work for you. They ensure that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So, if you have a website. You may be <clears throat> wondering, like, you know, you probably, like I said, probably have some plugins. If you don't, you might be wondering, like, how can I use them? How can I get the most out of them? Um, how should I get started, you know? And all of these questions I will be addressing on today's episode of the BBNJ podcast. I'm your host, John Lint. Let's get into it. So, I kind of talked about it some, but. The, the, the first question you might be asking is like, are plugins even useful? You know, you might be thinking, John, like, what's wrong with my site? I have, you know, it, it has plenty of stuff that helps me, uh, whether it's like a WordPress, Squarespace, you know, what, what, what have you. So like, why do I need a plugin? <clears throat> I can guarantee you this. There is a plugin that you can use that is going to increase the functionality of your site. That's gonna get you more out of your site. That's gonna get you more leads. That's gonna get you more traffic. That's gonna increase engagement. That's gonna increase sales of your product, you know? Because the base level, the base, the base plate, right, of a site is fine, but it's designed to like work pretty well for everyone. You know, especially with a site like Squarespace or WordPress, those sites are designed to be usable by a lot of different people. If you're using, you know, a super specific um, niche platform, like I, I know um, hairstylists a lot of times, they'll, they'll use like there's a very specific platform um, which does a, a very good job. And it, it is, it it you don't necessarily need to use um, a plugin because all of that stuff that you would need from a plugin is already there because it's custom suited for the specific niche purpose. But the more general you go, the more you're going to want to use these plugins. So, you know, let's kind of let's kind of get into that. Let's kind of get into the 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 function and the functionality. Of, of these plugins, right? Because, I mean, that's important. That matters, you know? If you are trying to do something, how do I put this? If you have a website and you're trying to do something specific with it, maybe you're trying to like use a formatting a specific way. Maybe you're trying to, to sell a specific product. If you're trying to integrate a different platform into it, plugins are the way to go. It's gonna make your life so much easier. It's gonna reduce the risk of things messing up. And it's just going to be, it's just generally a good idea, right? Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that every single plugin is a perfect idea for you. Of course, that you know that, that's not that's not reasonable. What it does mean is that there are good plugins for you. So let's kind of get into that a little a little bit more. How can you find the right plugin, <clears throat> or more more likely plugins? Because you're going to want to do specific things, right? If you want to have more advanced forms, for example, you might need a plugin. If you, you know, want to increase functionality, let's say, um, for example, WordPress, 
right? If you are on WordPress and you're like, I want to, I, I want to um, design this site by myself, and uh, but I'm not super familiar with HTML or like the 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 form the, that advanced formatting stuff. I need an easy front end thing that will give me a lot of control over the process, that's where plugins can come in. That's where plugins can be incredibly beneficial because they will do that work for you. They will do the back end work for you. So you don't have to, right? I mean, why do you have a website builder at all? You know, why don't you just add, add the files directly to the um, directly into the, the servers and, and call it done because there are better uses of your time. If you're a professional running a business, you should be a professional running a business, not a professional working on your website and we're doing a ton of working in the business. We talk about that, right? Where you can work in the business, you can work on the business. You want to be working on the business because that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to get out from where you currently are at. So in terms of finding the right plugins, you need to take a look at what you're currently getting, right? What is currently available to you, easily, accessibly, scalably, all that, on the platform? And then what else do you wanna do? What other functionality do you wanna get from it? And you find the plugins that answer that question, that fix that problem, that deal with that issue. If you're doing that the right way, you're going to see that increased functionality. So, kind of summarize, if you want to use a plugin, if you're trying to figure out where I can put in a plugin, take a look at what functions you need. Take a look at what you would benefit from, what you, you could use optimized and find, a, find the right plugin. Find a good plugin that addresses that specific need. Because if you think about it and approach it from that angle, you're, you're gonna be a lot better off, you know? So we, we, we kind of talked, we got into the plugins, right? And find the right one. So, you know, down the line, you might be like, okay, John, I understand plugins are important. I got some plugins. Now, how do I, how, how do I how do I do it right? How do I make sure that it um, that the plugins work well? This is something I actually kind of had to address, and this is actually the, the reason that I made the podcast. Um, we had uh, one of our clients had a um, a, a CRM on one pl- from one platform, and they're trying to integrate it into um, and integrate some of that functionality onto their main website. But the thing is, it wasn't working. So the thing about these plugins is oftentimes they're going to format things in a specific way. They're going to, they're going to custom tailor it so that it functions well within their suite. And maybe it's easier for you to work with. The thing is, that doesn't necessarily um, mean that it's compatible with other plugins, other platforms. Other platforms being a big thing, you know, if you have a website builder and it messes up the ability to sh- like share on social media, that's not a good website builder because you want to be sharing the posts you make, the page, whatever, you know, the website you make on social media, you know, dr- bringing people in. So when we're talking about formatting best practices, the, when, we're, when we're talking about the things that you need to be doing to make sure that the plugins that you use are helpful and not harmful, especially with like unintended formatting consequences, make sure that the plugins you use don't restrict other functionalities, right? Make sure that the plugins that you're using and especially as you add more, 
aren't conflicting with one another, aren't trying to do different things to the same space, because that's gonna mess up your website. Make sure that the plugins that you're working with and that you're using and employing work well across platforms, across pages, across formats, templates, with other plugins. You want those, those, those friendly, um, very workable platform, uh, uh, plugins. Because if you do that, you're gonna be a lot better off, you know? And that is why you need to do plugins, that, the whole point. That's the whole why of this, you know? So you can be better off, so you can get more out of your site. If you're getting stuck with these weird to format things that break a bunch of different thing uh, stuff, and that's not a good plugin for you, you know? So kind of take the, do that due diligence, take your time, figure out, okay, does this really make sense for me? Is this formatted in a way that'll make sense for me? Am I setting this up in a way that will be easy to modify later that will be friendly with other plugins that will last? And I can guarantee you, if you approach it from that way and answer those questions, you're going to be pretty well off. But that's about all I have for you for this week. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and punch that notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, but yeah, we you know we'll really appreciate you sticking out through the whole video. And I'll see you next week.